me. Haven't been on YouTube for a while because low-key I was like having a mental breakdown and like burnt out and just couldn't be, I could not face being all positive like hi on here. So yeah, sorry about that. But I'm back because I'm actually going to London. So I thought I'd do a little vlog because my life isn't usually exciting. So when it is, I want to film it and document the memories, you know? So welcome back. Hope you've been having a better time than me. Apparently it's been like eclipse season and now we're in Mercury retrograde. So like Whenever you're going through a bad period in your life, you can always you can always blame it on astrology. That's that's my go-to. Like, sorry, I'm not being a bitch. It's just the means eclipsing. <laughs> so, so. <laughs> I'm getting ready to leave for London, and I've been drying my little rat's tail <laughs> extensions. <gasps> they look the worst for wear. They've probably been on several countries and continents, and that's probably why. Loads of nights out where there was probably like beer and smoke in my hair. So. They're doing well considering and I want to do like a ponytail tonight. I'm going to the Sophie TR catwalk. I actually can't wait. I went before and she paints women's bodies and it's so inspiring. You see all these different body types and it's just like a feel good thing. And I've got the most extra dress. I rarely get to go out and like dress up anymore. So it's a really extra dress and I want to do like a sort of mid cute ponytail. So I thought I'd add a bit of these for volume. Did my tan. Doesn't it look good? Like really nice and natural. I used the Skinny Tan Body Glow daily like gradual moisturiser. And then for face I've been loving this. The Saint Tropez Luxe Tan Drops. You can either put them like straight with your moisturiser overnight. But I read it and you can also do it on its own. I think it's actually like it's actually done bits, so I'm excited to get ready if I ever make it to London because the trains are off the tracks. The train is literally off the tracks, like it's off the rails, and I'm ready to go off the rails to be honest because of it. Because every time I try and go to London, something happens on the tracks. I don't know why. Got bad luck. Um, so I'm debating: do I just get the coach? I don't know. I'm gonna try and do a bit of makeup, and then we'll see. Managed to curl my hair because I thought. I don't know what time I'm gonna get to London. At least my hair will be somewhat done. Just wearing this casual outfit. Don't look at my room, seriously. Like, look at the laundry, look at the parcels. These are things that I need to show the doctor when I get my ADHD diagnosis. Like, <laughs> just wearing some baggy jeans and like cool trainers. Um, yeah, so wish me luck. See if I even make it. No. Positive thinking, we will get that, we will get that. Somehow, I made it to London, there was no delays. Like, thanking my lucky stars, because usually in Great Western Railway we have beef, but today I'm going to let them off. Can we just appreciate my dress for tonight? <gasps> it's so extra, it's like this completely sequined midi dress with like feathers. I am so convinced people are literally going to be wearing jeans, and I'm going to look like the most extra person, but I don't care. I don't get to go out that often, you know? I don't drink anymore, so I need to kind of like take the fantasy where I can. Got it in this little vacuum bag. It's got to be quiet because Emma's on her work call. She's actually working at the moment. She, she's a strong, independent woman that has a job, unlike me. <laughs> so waiting for her to be finished and then we can get ready. This is the makeup so far. I feel like going for a pinky vibe, but because the dress is so crazy, I don't want to do too much makeup, but I've just done a little pink cut crease. Got my makeup here. I don't want to get on that white sofa that every time I come to my brother's. I always worry about this. And did I just drag two fat Too Faced palettes on the train? Yes, I did. Because I need to have options when doing my makeup. Like, I need a whole full suitcase. Like, that suitcase over there, I'm staying there for two nights. It's not normal. Look at this genius way I've been curling my extensions under the snug kettle. I think that's a pretty impressive. They actually look good now, they're curled. They're not the right colour for my hair though, but I think, oh, they actually don't look good. <laughs> I did all this for what? Like, I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up. Even if there's a scraggly little extension right down my back, I will be wearing one tonight. Get ready with my <laughs> Nature Republic moisturiser that I got in Japan. <laughs> that girl. Oh my God. Get, get this close up, ready? Just like, oh. We'll smear. She loves her skincare. She's a self-care queen. <laughs> and you're wearing a pink dress, right? Oh, like, when you think of pink, think even more pink. <laughs> and once you have that image, think even more pink. Think about, like, what is the most, like, obnoxious pink thing? Not only is it just pink, it's pink velvet. And not only is it a pink velvet dress, it's a long, oh deep-cut pink velvet dress. It's gonna dress. be, like, 
Pin Princess Peach. And not only is it a long, <laughs> deep cut pink velvet dress, it's got a fringe of oh, sparkle. My God. <laughs> so you just wait. You just wait. Honestly, we were like, how are we going to get there? And the thought of us on the tube with our fucking dresses is going to send me, but it's going to have to be done. That's the London life. It is. Get it the is. London look, eh? Yes. I'm really worried that people aren't going to be as dressy as us, but I did message Charlotte. Okay. And she's wearing like a hot pink blazer Love. and a like orange little slip dress. So yeah. I was like, okay, that's dressy enough. Like, yeah, that is dressy, I think. Also, we've got VIP, so like we need to act and dress like the VIP. Yes. <laughs> this is M's dress. Oh my god. Sorry, but is it anything short of iconic? That's actually insane. <laughs> <laughs> Dive, not the Diamante frill. This is what I'm talking about. Just giving it a quick steam. Oh. This is my hair situation. I feel like the extensions actually worked out well. Just gives a little bit more volume. I do want to like pump it up a bit more. I'm nervous to get my dress on because it's just like, I don't know. Once I get it on, it's like serious. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I need to show you my dress actually. Oh! <laughs> like, what the fuck? That, we, we will be best dressed this evening. I am so confident. Look at this. You saw my dress. <laughs> Sorry. I can't go. It's so good. I love it. Oh, I can't wait to see it on as well. It's crazy. <laughs> I've got the dress on. I don't know how to show you. Our fashionable footwear, what well, M's got a cool. This is M's outfit. <laughs> Unreal. Like you're skimming high fashion and then you just got me in my coat and uh, these sandals. <laughs> And I've literally got my heels in my hand. I'm allowed to wear heels. They said now I can wear them for a few hours, but I'm not going to be like gripping up along the streets on the cobblestones, yeah. like breaking my leg again just for, to look good. Do you know what I mean? So I will put them on, do a little sneaky switcheroo, and yeah. So we were saying we look like you know when you go on Sims, <laughs> you just click randomise outfit, and you're like, fuck me. And you're like, oh, actually, did you just do something? Slay. You know what I mean? Well, oh, that's what most high fashion is. Oh, for sure, absolutely. Is there a term for you know how there's walk of shame? Yeah. What, what is that when going to the event? No, this is like tube outfit. Oh yeah. It's like yeah, tube yeah, outfit sure. where like you don't want to wear your heels, <laughs> and I don't want people to see my outfit. So you wear the biggest coat ever, <laughs> and I've got like sandals on. Like it's not okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, say that. I was just thinking about the fact that they 
wouldn't give me a drink. I was like, they wouldn't even let me have a soft drink. And she was like, oh, do you want a, like, a, a coffee? And I was like, for a reason. Yeah. M's on the hard stuff tonight. That's how I'm There's something really, like, got me about them. It's like, yeah, it just, it takes a bit of elegance. You know what I mean? It's like, down it. Cheers, lads. Allows me, so the team, to paint their body and bear us all as a living work of art. They spread a message of self-love and body confidence. Synonyms. Absolute bloody legend. Icon. Wrong one. Oh, I think I'm going to leave a big impression for my family, for my children, my daughters, my grandchildren, my great grandchildren, and all my friends because I think they're quite shocked that all of a sudden I'm doing something like this. So I just want to go out there and think, wow, like I am literally can do this, and I am proud. Woo! All of us, you know, in our 30s, 40s, 50s, all different shapes and sizes, just embracing everything as we are. I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready. We'll see the other day, but I'm probably be like shaking, but... I'm definitely going to her next one as well. Like it was just so inspiring and just the art was fantastic and just like the energy from the crowd as well was just impeccable. So like good. it's so indescribable. If you're watching this, go get your tickets to the next one. Okay? Like it's, it's you, like, so you good. feel so confident about yourself, like there's like nothing about your body that you no. don't mind. Yeah. That you don't like after watching it, because like you see so many bodies and like there's a woman, she just had her tits out, she fucking loved it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's yeah. crazy. So good. I wanna sign up for the next one. Also, how <laughs> cute does London look at night? Um, we're just gonna go home. So I'm back in the sandals. I did well on the hills, guys. I didn't fall over. And we're gonna try and find something to eat. <laughs> Being all nice, are you? Yeah. Being all nice around your parents when I know the real you. I know what you do. Is it bedtime? 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 Is it <laughs> just ordered McDonald's because we haven't eaten like literally since midday. She's, she's getting comfy. Look how Aww. comfy she is. She knows the we say it, she's got to get comfy and stay still. Oh, oh, oh. no! <laughs> Where's she? Bedtime. Why is she tricking by the camera? Which is bedtime? Bedtime! She looks so like, oh, she's like giving me puppy eyes. Bedtime! Oh! Bedtime! So many times you like... What? Oh, you've never done that. I don't know why you're acting up to the camera. <laughs> don't act like you have. No. She's honestly, when you guys aren't here, she's nuts. And when you're here, she's like, oh, being all nice. She's trying to cuddle everyone, yeah. so we let her off. Yeah, is it bedtime? <laughs> oh. Yeah. Have you ever seen the fattest bag of McDonald's in this? Oh. See, they put so many bags within a bag. M bag. Oh my god, Marlon got six cheese bags. <laughs> One. One bear. Two. <laughs> three. Four, five. Yeah, they're all there. Six. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Absolute machine. It's because he doesn't like chips. <laughs> Literally. She's 
She's had one glass of Prosecco. She's off the rails. Oh, so good. She's going in for the sixth burger. No, how do you feel about it? Yes. Feel accomplished. I'm telling you. Well fed. Good, good. I'm glad. I've just woken up so early because they don't have curtains in their living room. I always sleep in the living room. So I'm gonna go to a little, so I'm trying to be quiet. I've literally just put on the same clothes as yesterday. What a rat. Because I fancy like a little croissant and an iced coffee. So I'm gonna be a good sister and get one for everyone. I've secured the goods. I'm gonna make me ship myself, but I don't care. They're so good, these little iced coffees. And then I got some croissants. Because Little Bakery is so good. Like pan and chocolate. I got an almond one in the other one. I'm gonna just shut out tonight to make sure I don't touch that. But yeah, I'm just gonna drink this and then I need to start getting ready because I'm going to see Izzy later, which I'm excited about. I haven't seen her in a while, like she's been on holiday. So we're just gonna, I feel like we're gonna be chatting for hours. I'm off to go see Izzy now. I got so distracted because they woke up so late, distracting me, and now I haven't done my makeup and I just, I really planned to stay horribly, but. It's fine, I can do my makeup quick. I've got my outfit planned. Also, London is like boiling today, but really windy. Yeah, I'm excited to see my friend. I'm at Izzy's now, and this is the outfit. I know, red on red is actually a crime, especially because it's different reds. But I am changing. I've got my little top in my bag because we're going for sushi later. Um, but first, we're going to immersive game box. My brother literally said to me, he's like, all you do is like these weird escape rooms these days. And I was like, when you're sober, you have to get the fun where you can get it. Um, there's loads across um, London. I actually been there in other cities too. They're so fucking fun. I actually can't wait for Izzy to do it. I've done it before. But there's loads. There's like a Black Mirror one. There's like a Squid Games, a Tetris one. Like there's always different. I'm excited. We don't know which one. We're thinking probably Squid Games. Yeah. I think I'm actually going to die when we try to cut the biscuit out of the thing. You know, the honeycomb. Yeah, and imagine you get the umbrella by accident, like, if, because I don't know if we can pick, I think you get put you get in a team. You assigned one. Shit! <laughs> Maybe, <laughs> I don't know, based on how well you do in the one before. Yeah, that's Red true. light, green light. Red light. But yeah, I'm excited, this is Izzy's outfit. I had she, a catastrophe. No, honestly, why? The site about, I know this is not your birthday thing, because I can't make Izzy's birthday cry, like, it's the one time I'm going on a family holiday is on Izzy's birthday. Oh, there he is. This is like her birthday thing. Mm -hmm. It's something about your birthday, I just always want to, one, cry on my birthday, two, your outfit just goes to shit. My eyes cried literally when I hurt a jacket on, I was like, no. I'm not going anymore, <laughs> fuck this. Meanwhile, it's probably just going to be like loads of kids because Easter. <laughs> We're there like stylish <laughs> as fuck. So so <laughs> Whoa, my short is just so edgy. edgy. Literally everyone's got their legs out, like it's giving, it's summer. summer. Like genuinely, like I can feel the vibes. Bebo, I'm ready. Spanish baby, that. So what? What are we gonna do? We do squid games. I think so. Unless it's something else that you see is exciting. Because there's a black mirror one, but I don't know if that would be. I don't know if I can't imagine it. Have you done any of them? I did one. Um, it was like an escape room. And it was really like it's not like a normal escape room. Is it? It's really really hard. Oh really? No, no, like really, like trippy. Like we didn't get, we didn't complete it. Oh, really? He was like, you still did better than most people. Like I think they're actually quite hard. Oh wow. Because there's only, two of us that you're meant to have like six people oh i see so <laughs> i know you get competitive so you can't be like angry at yourself or angry at me if, oh, well, if i'm being if slow if you're just standing there i'd be like do you do this? so maybe it's better we do squid games because we'll be against each other so then you like <laughs> the team thing i feel like i'm excited but also nervous <laughs> no it's so fun yeah it's gonna be sick little hats and i think you can order a drink like in there like they bring it in oh, too that's so cool. that'll be fun why does it say Black Mirror Career Center? We're recruiting a human pet for an AI. That'd be you. All right, let's go in. But I'm the human pet. Yeah. This is the Angry Birds. Temple of Coins. I think this is what I did last time, Psychedelic Mansion. Oh, really? It was fucking hard. Look, you can see all the pods. I know, like you can see everyone doing it. Sean the Sheep. This is our game box, guys. Look. Two. Using the touch screens, the number two will deliver to your game box. That's free. Well, hey, 
end of your day. This is like that. Like, Cheers to that. I feel, yeah, I feel like I'm in. Like if it's gonna tap on the wall to get. It. What are you gonna get? I don't know. Well, where's the bloody no alcohol? There's a no alcohol big time laser crash. Okay, well, I guess I'm having that then. <laughs> is that the only no alcohol thing? Okay. Yeah. I'll do this time with you. There we go. There we go. Great. Hey. Oh, this is so high tech. Oh, this is also. Oh. Hey there. Welcome to Immersive Game Arts. We have a big camera to jump in. Oh, well. So, we are going to get with a ton of rules. Let's just get the obvious out of the way. The three rocks in front of you are giant touch screens. They're high tech. Delicious. And I tried the regular one, and then obviously you've got the non-alcoholic one, and they taste basically exactly the No, same. it's so good, like... Because I'm not someone that has a lot of non-alcoholics, so I just think it's pointless, so I'll just get a, a Coke. Mm. But actually, it makes you feel a bit more involved. Yeah, like that in a pub garden in the summer. Yeah, it's like, I don't know if it's a mental thing, it's like the taste of alcohol, I'm like, oh, okay, like, I'm drunk now. Mm. Yeah, we, well, I had a little cheeky outfit, got well, top change, and now we're gonna go get food, Shiro, Shiro sushi, but it says it's like experimental, and I'm like, oh god, what the hell does that mean? You know, I've got another eel, I've got Isla Cheese, cheese. I've got got Isla cheese. Okay, I don't know, we find out. I'll be like when we went to that place, do you remember when they were like, oh, they gave us one to be nice, and I was already like, 
barely finish my food. Plus, it is you. You're gonna have to take one for the team. I was like, we can't not eat it because like they just made it for us like complimentary. They were like, oh, the chef basically thought he was just trying out something new, so he's made this one specifically for you. And it was like a piece of sushi, but there was like something like draped on top. I was like, a lot of something, and then like a dot something else. I wasn't really feeling sick that night. And I was like, I can't do this, but I just don't want to be rude because they were the nicest. But the rest of the sushi was really good. So. Circle. Haven't been here in a while to be fair. Like, honestly, I don't remember the last time I came here. I don't been here know. a lot. Not, it's like a Thursday after work kind of drink. Yeah, it gives me like old office, like, yeah, you come here like on a what Thursday. Is it? People will be like, oh, banker, banker. Yeah, I don't know. But Shiro is here. I can tell from the press. How cute. It looks cute. We're at Shiro. And there's, it's like the biggest menu, so we're struggling. We didn't. Is he gonna get the wagyu beef fried rice? I'm gonna get the pork belly. I'm thinking for starter maybe the rock shrimp tempura. See, I don't know what that means. So tempura is like the when it's really fine, crispy coating. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm with you. I'm absolutely starving. I need to eat. Izzy's gonna get a bottle of wine. I just. Happy birthday! <laughs> yeah, this is her birthday thing. She's allowed. But how nice is it in here? You'll be rolling out like a sushi roll. <laughs> Try it. <laughs> yeah, that's really lovely. Thank you. It's a good one. Hi, what? I made you this very nice um, chow. It's kind of like. It's kind of like a mojito because I said that's my face, yeah. but it's like pineapple y. It's really good. Mm. That is honestly delicious. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, that's really good. That's one of the best drinks I've had in a while. She's really good. She's really good. All right, we did birthday cheers. Birthday cheers. Oh, oh. to me. Happy early birthday, girl. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. I guess. <laughs> Bye, Wait, like, keep this on camera. My dad just texted me, hi Gabba. Did you buy Twilight Moon Moon last night on Amazon? <laughs> if so, it's put 350 on my credit card. Did you actually? No. <laughs> Who bought, is it your brother? <laughs> no, why do I actually want to watch Twilight New Moon now? Should we watch, watch it? it? <laughs> you might as well take advantage of my dad. Yeah, I know. Sushi bites. Ooh, it's down in one. Trying some yellow tail. Mm. Oh, sea grapes. Mm. Yellow tail, sea grapes on top. Yellow tail's good, isn't it? Really fresh. Being adventurous today. It kind of tastes like salmon a bit. Mm. Mm. Generally, sushi where it's like salmon, tuna, yellow like top fruit. Please look at this sushi. Look at this. It's like clear. Yeah, so it's like gelatin on top to make it like a stained glass effect so that they can do that on top of the salmon. That's tuna. That's sea bass. That's corn. That's sea bass. I love sea bass. Oh, oh my god, it's so, oh, it's so good. I've had sea bass. You will love it. It's so nice. I don't know what that is. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mmm. Mm. Right, a little bit sweet. Mm. In Japan, there's a lot of sugar in the something, so it's like... That's so good. I, I ate that thinking like, okay, this is going to be something else I like more. <laughs> I'm really kind of nervous. Is he trying the glass gelatin? Because it's like jealous on the outside. Then we like salmon, we like the rice. But he said it's like mixed with you, like some people love it. Mm. Do you think I'll like it? Yeah. I won't be freaked no out. No texture issue from me at all, and I hate textures. Boy. That is delicious. Better than the tuna though. Nothing's better than the tuna. I don't know. The tuna was 10 10. So these are little egg rolls on top. And it's peach on top. You're scared. Did you put soy sauce? No, I didn't. You went, you went. It's like a perfect bite situation. <laughs> Like, oh my god, like, I'm actually scared. I don't know if I can do it. I'll take, and I'll take, I'll take, I'll take. <laughs> <laughs> She'll be louder in my space. So we've got the cauliflower, 
Why have you beef fried rice? Yeah, that's it. Like, I don't even know how we're gonna eat. <laughs> that's the pork belly. <laughs> we're too stuffed to have dessert. So we've just got like, tea. It's got a coffee, but there she is. <laughs> but it is really delicious. Look at my little teapot. I, I, I hope they were gonna bring it in one of theirs. It's gonna be so hot. I know. You can always have some of your cold water. Oh. It's not just a pretty day, so How is nice is it up here? So bougie. It's gorgeous. Izzy just took the nicest photo ever. Do you guys want to see? I'll zoom in to see your the enclosure. <laughs> oh my god, that's how I feel after I ate that tuna roll. Honestly. This is our outfits, by the way. I got my leopard print Thomas from ASOS. So this is a squat from ASOS. A squat. I don't know what this is from. It's very, very old. It's nice though. I like this shape. Let's just hem. Let's just hem. Let's just. Hem. <laughs> nice little cargo, cargo little skirt. Little cargo skirt thing. You got Converse. I got the Brooks. Woo, 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 woo. And then I got this from a vintage shop in Victoria. Oh wow, you're so cool. Oh, like. Where's my bags from? Oh my god, like, you're such a bougie. Mine's from Kurt Geiger. They actually do really nice bags. I like Because it gives me, like, Chanel vibes, obviously, for, like, yeah. half, not even half, like, quarter of the price. Yeah, it's bugs. And actually really good quality. Yeah. Oh, hey, oh, hey, we've got a McDonald's wrap. They're so good. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah. With ketchup. Mine's well, got a lot of ketchup on it. Bad yell. We just saw the thing about if you're going to Spain and you're British, you have to have £97 a day per day the holiday. Oh my god, yeah. I beat the money. I mean, you kind of need that money, I beat yeah. anyway, so. But like, imagine you're just going to like Benidorm. I think I spent like 100 euros for like six days. Like, I barely spent any money. But did you do all inclusive? No. Oh. And our hotel was like, oh, fucking hell. Oh our hotel god. was like 100 euros or something. Like, because I think you can go to Spain for so cheap. That's maybe why they're doing it. But like, I don't know. Mm. I feel like a lot of people are going to be put off going there now. Bye, Izzy. Bye. Bye, Kiara. Thanks for coming to see me. Oh, them green, green eyes. She's so beautiful. She likes me now. She likes my drink. Oh. <laughs> I'm back home now. I could not deal with filming like any of my home, my journey home to Paddington and stuff. Like, I don't know what it is lately, but traveling. Always on the day of traveling. TMI, but I'll get a bad belly. Like, I need to go poo, and I'm like cursing the universe because how is that fair because then I start thinking oh my god am I gonna need to go on the toilet and I've got a thing about train toilets like it's just gross got my little work buddy here we're matching outfits today oi 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 she's really clingy like if she was a star sign she'd be a cancer I've decided because she doesn't like going outside anymore and cancers are homebodies also they're very driven by food like they love home comforts and food and this cat honestly eats like four or five times a day she like screams for food but she's still so skinny she hasn't got worms because I checked and she's so clingy, like she always wants to be with me. But, some little news. I literally haven't even told any of my friends this because I have such a weird suspicion about things. Like I like telling people things once I've done them. Otherwise I think they get like, I feel embarrassed when I don't get it or I feel like it's gonna get ruined or like the pressure of people knowing. Um, but I actually have an interview tomorrow. I'm really stressed, like it's been, oh God, like seven years since I've had an interview. Um, probably longer than that literally probably eight years like when I first moved to London that's when I last had an interview uh because I've been self-employed nearly three years now but I've applied for a job and I really I've got a really good feeling about it like I was sh so shocked they even responded to me because I did my CV at, at literally midnight it's given Taylor Swift midnights um and I wrote a cover letter and everything and I was like jokey in the cover letter because the job like you have to do some writing and I thought oh let me have like a kind of funny tongue-in-cheek tone of voice I wouldn't recommend that for a cover letter but they seem to like it because they have got an interview um and I'm making like a little presentation I'm not going to say what the job's for or anything like I've got to make a little presentation for them but yeah I'm really nervous and I feel like I'm really doubting myself I just got to think like although it'd be good it's okay if I don't get it like it's still currently I'm earning a little bit of money from influencer stuff so I'm not like desperate for this job but I would obviously really really love it and if I get it, I'll obviously tell you what it is and you'll be like, oh, it makes so much sense. But yeah, I'm just prepping for my interview. I'm prepping for my interview, so yeah, wish me luck. Oh my God, guys, I had my interview. I was so scared. I was sweating and I thought I was going to shit myself and there was literally like no toilets around. I was like, look, 
I was praying and I was like please please don't let this be the time I share myself but they were so nice and that just made me want the job more uh, like before I was like oh it'd be cool to get it but now I'm like no 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 I really want it I had to do a job I had to do like an assessment day and they were like straight away on the day they were like okay you've got through to the next round and I had to go back again so what, last two days have literally just been me focusing on my interview like I feel exhausted I feel like it's the most mental energy I've used for anything in a long long time um but now I'm just waiting to hear which is always the hard bit like I hope at least if I get a rejection like I feel like they would tell me because obviously I've gone in to see them twice now so it's like you know just just let me know if you don't feel gonna like me um but yeah obviously I'll keep you updated on whether I get the job or not but how mad like, this could be, like, Sadie's employed era. Like, I'm ready for it. I'm ready to go back into the world of work, okay? And it's, like, a part-time job, so it would be ideal because I could still do this alongside it, but it would just mean I could get out of my own head and not be, like, so wrapped up in, like, social media all the time. Like, I'd actually have, like, another purpose, and I just think that would be healthy for me because I think my self-esteem can't take doing just tiktok and also i want to live in the real world like sometimes i don't feel like a real person i just think oh i only exist to like make videos i, I know that sounds dumb but i yeah i just like i felt like a normal person i was like oh my god like i was commuting to, to my interview like actually outside I, that's i know that sounds so sad but that's what my life has become um so yeah but i just want to say thank you for watching this vlog i promise i'm gonna really try and get back into filming i'm definitely feeling like a bit more of a spring in my step now and like a bit more passion for it i don't know if i mentioned but i got a really big rejection um for work and it was something that i was like this is my dream right my dream thing um got rejected for it and it just made me really be like Do you know what fuck it i don't actually want to be an influencer or post videos anymore which is stupid like one rejection shouldn't make me question my my worth or like the reason why I do these videos and I think I just needed a bit of time away to like reconnect with myself and be like I do this one because I enjoy it too because I like chatting to you I like helping women with things and I like having like a little um video diary like it, it's good it's like memories so but I just needed to connect to why I do this because last week the last two weeks i was really like i'm ready to give up okay um and i need to work on rejection i need to work on being able to take rejection better than i do um and like fuck them fuck them if they don't want to work with me you know whatever like rejection is a redirection maybe i wouldn't have had time to do this job if i got it so yeah I'm rambling as I always do but thank you I love you so much thank you for bearing with me and sticking around even though I know I'm inconsistent compared to other creators and yeah I'm actually going on holiday next week so I will film that I hope you have the best week and I love you so much